Um, so uh, I will call to order the Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County regular meeting of June 22nd, 2020. Uh, I'll note the time is 5.05 p.m. Would our secretary kindly call the roll? Chair Magiars. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Eating fruit salad. Eating fruit salad, all right. <laughs> Director Mannheim. Here. Here. <laughs> Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Lanye. Here. Director Shaw. <laughs> Director Gudger. Here. Say, uh, thank you, Secretary Laurent. Um, so that's item one. Item two, oral communications. Do we have any members of the public on the call who'd like to comment? Seeing none, we can move on to item three, consideration of late additions to the agenda, additions, deletions. Anything we need to uh, add or drop from the agenda? Okay, seeing none, we can move on to con the consent agenda, which is items four, five, and six. Uh, four is to approve the minutes of the board meeting of April 27th. Five is to approve the minutes of our special meeting of May 4th. And six is to approve the recommendation of the finance committee to accept the May 2020 financial reports. I think that's it for that. Yep. I, um, have, I have one. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve, but I'd like you to... Um, Correct uh, Guy Lanier's last name in items seven and eight of the April 27th meeting. Oh, okay. I will fix it. Other than that, I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Uh, and I'll second it, and I have a comment too. Yes, uh, Director Hall, would you like to comment on item six? And just a comment uh, if you'll go, if you're looking at, if you go to 4120 facility and equipment use. Uh, that's our lease revenue from the studio on uh, co-working space on Soquel, and it's been dropping uh, since the uh, shutdown, but we think we've reached the bottom of the dropping, and we're off by a reasonable amount from what we had expected, but it isn't as low as we thought it would go, so that's pretty good, and according to Becca, uh, <clears throat> they were probably going to be going up a little bit because I think in a certain period of time, and she can go over that all in her report. But uh, I just wanted to point out that one thing so you're aware of it. And uh, I'll just, uh, I made my second and I'll just go with that. All right, thank you, Director Hall. Any uh, further questions or comments on the consent agenda? All right, seeing none, uh, would the secretary call the roll call vote, please? Absolutely. Uh, Chair Maziars. Aye. Director Hall. Yes. Director Rand. Yes. Director Mannheim. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Lanier. Yes. Director Gudger. Yes. Okay. All right. So that passes unanimously. Uh, so we can move right along to our regular agenda. Uh, item seven, I wasn't sure if I should drop this from the agenda, but so I figured uh, I'd leave it on. Uh, is the report from the Ad Hoc Facilities Committee. I know we have a closed session item um, that's related to this, is item 14. Is there anything that uh, the committee would like to report in open session? Uh, who's the chair of that committee? Is it is it you, uh, Director Gutcher? I guess um, Becca and I are, are both. Oh, I'm sorry. I was busy trying to get some information out to Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't hear that. Go go oh. ahead, Keith, and I'll, I'll chime in if you need me. Um, well, as you know, the committee has met several times, and we have some information to report in closed session. And Barbara Springer has joined us. She's going to be with us in closed session to discuss her part of the deal. Okay. All right. Um, thank you very much. So, um, are there any questions from uh, board members? Okay, seeing none, why don't we move on to item number eight, which is to review and extend the emergency signing policy. Um, I just included the policy um, that was provided by our executive director. Um, I thought that when we approved it, we had amended it to say that any uh, uh, officer of the board could docusign rather than just the, the chair. Um, Correct. Is there any discussion on this item? 
Move approval. All right, we have a motion with, to with the, with the I'd like to move approval with the clarification that it is for any member of the, any officer of the, uh, of the organization. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second. All right, we have a, a second from Director O'Driscoll. And I believe the period that we were approving uh, the extension is for two months. It's not, it doesn't say that on there. What, what is it? No. The I think it's okay. September. September board meeting? Uh, it doesn't say that. Yeah, oh, I just I just good. said review and extend. So would the, the, the maker of the motion like to specify? I mean, uh, our secretary, who was our Brown Act expert uh, for an emergency, I believe you told me uh, in a communication that for an emergency resolution, they have to be reviewed every two months. That is what our city attorney told us. It has to be reviewed every two, it doesn't have to be approved, doesn't have to be anything, it just has to be reviewed every two months by the board. Okay. Is, is, this, uh, is this still an emergency um, resolution? Um, my understanding is it's still an emergency resolution because the, uh, the uh, what's the name of that committee? The my governance loss. committee. The governance committee hasn't uh, met to uh, review it and recommend a permanent uh, policy change. Well, uh, that being the case, I will um, amend my, um, amend it to say through the um, August board meeting, to the August board meeting, whatever date that would be. Isn't one. We don't have one in August? No. We don't have one in July. We do have, we have one, one in July. Hmm. I, how about I amend this to, we just, uh, to continue for one month and then in July we can go two months if we have to get to the end of September. Is that what you were, are, is that what we need to do at this point? Um, that sounds good to me. Anybody else have, uh, care to chime in on that? That would get us to September, right? right? Well, right now, all we're all we're able to do is get us to the July meeting. July, and then we were and then this meeting. will be on the agenda in July, and at that point, we can go out two months. Okay, sounds we good. We could amend it for two months, and then in July, amend it for two months. Right. Yeah, maybe we should just make it two months, just in case. Right. But in July, if we do it for two months, it'll still just be to the end of September. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just in case a meteor comes down and we can't meet in July, or <laughs> um, I did just Great. schedule a vacation for uh, a week in July, the week of July fifteenth or so. But I think our meeting is after that. So, Correct. but if I get eaten by a bear up in Lassen, mm -hmm. then I guess Wreck Matilda will have to chair the next yeah. meeting. Wreck yeah, around. <laughs> you won't be able to sign anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all, well, we all the all the officers can by this now. Right. Okay, so um, to clarify the motion, it's to uh, oh, is, uh, approve with the amendment uh, that any director can the OcuSign, um, and it is for one month. I no, let me just any officer. Can we, uh, if we could just let me just step in for a second. Thank you. Am I correct that when we did the original policy two months ago. It said any officer of the organization. Is that correct? So that we just have the wrong. So we just have the wrong one in front of us. We don't need to amend the policy that we currently have. All we need to do is extend, extend it. it for sure. a month, sure, or two months. And I'm going to extend it for one month since we have to meet in July and we don't meet in August. Okay. Is that amenable I'm, to that the second? Is, that's my motion. Yes. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, Secretary Laurent, can you call the roll call vote? Director O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Laurent. Yes. Director Lanier. Yes. Chair Maziars. Yes. Director Mannheim. Yes. Director Gudger. Yes, and I want to point out that you'll have a five day gap in July because one month from the day is five days before the next board meeting. But... Okay, two months. I take it back. <laughs> two months. <laughs> Through the July meeting. Right? That's, yeah. Through the July meeting. Director Rand. 
Yes. Director Hall. Yes. All right. Great, thank you. So uh, that passes unanimously. Um, all right, so we can move on now to item number nine, which was uh, an update on the CARES Act Economic Injury Disaster Loan, or EIDL, loan from the US Small Business Administration. Um, I believe our uh, Finance Committee uh, Chair, Director Hall, uh, prepared a staff report uh, or a report uh, for the agenda. Is there anything you'd care to elaborate on that report? Yes, I actually wanted to thank Becca because this has been kind of a, a work in progress. Uh, federal rules have changed. The availability of the loan has changed. And <clears throat> through uh, kind of intuitive sleuthing, uh, Becca was able to find a method to get our application in. It was rejected once and then out of the blue, it was accepted. <clears throat> so it was, it was quite an interesting adventure in uh, uh, the uh, CARES Act and post-COVID-19 federal assistance. But the long and the short of it is uh, <clears throat> the uh, CTV received approval of a $150,000 loan. I put down all the terms. We found out about it at the day of the finance committee meeting, so we really haven't had a chance to talk about it. But at our previous meetings, we talked about the concept, at least at this point, to accept whatever assistance we need. And then at that point that we you know, find it all out, we can go through and see what we want. Right now, we have the Payroll Protection Act loan, which is helping us with the payroll to the amount of $33,000. That's been amended by Congress, so there's some, some changes there that we'll be talking about at our next finance committee meeting. And we'll talk about this at the next meeting in terms of uh, how we repay it, what our thoughts are, and make a recommendation to the board at that time. But I thought it was important to let you know that we received it and to thank Becca because we were pretty much uh, moving nowhere and then she had the curiosity to check on something and lo and behold, after a number of steps and conversations, uh, we did. And I wanna thank the board, you gave her approval to do this. So we acted as soon as we received this notice. So long and the short is uh, uh, we're fortunate and uh, we'll be talking about it more. And Becca, do you wanna ask, answer any questions real quickly? Sure, if there are questions. Looks like Director Rand has her hand up. Or, I, don't sorry. A, oh. I don't have a question and I don't want to be a downer, but I am not very much in favor of actual loans that we have to pay back. I mean, the PPP is, as far as I know, you know, is a given. We can, you know, don't have to pay it back if we do everything right. But I am not very much in favor of loans. So I just want to have that noted when, when you're meeting. So... Uh, yeah, I was reading about this loan and it sounded like that you get a $10,000 bonus instantly that you don't have to pay back when you get this loan. 2000 it It's only two? I, I read 10. No, 10. You get 10? <clears throat> oh, okay. So by accepting the loan, we get more than the first year's interest back in the $10,000. And then if we were to pay it back, there's no payments allowed or required in the first year. And then if you pay it back at the end of the year, you're still several thousand dollars ahead. Well, I would like you to check if indeed if it's 10,000 because whatever I've read for the radio station, you know, we've been looking into that, uh, it's at 2,000. And actually, we already got 2,000. And, um, and now we have to decide if we're going to accept a loan or not. And the 2000 you can keep. So I'm not sure where you got the 10000 from. It's in the documentation that was provided, uh, Matilda, on, in the... Uh, so maybe, maybe it's new then, but... Uh, we, we Would it be a different amount depending on the amount of the loan? No, actually what it is, it depends on how many employees you have. Oh. So that's maybe why you got 10000 well, it just says probably 10 employees. Nine. Okay, well, so, um, yeah, it's depending on, on the number of uh, employees. Okay, well, is there any further questions, uh, discussion, uh, Director Hall? Uh, one thing, uh, just so you know, this actually hasn't been uh, finalized. Becca, have you, where you are in terms of filing all the last paperwork on this? I have, I've given them all the last paperwork and we can accept it. If we want to, 
Okay. Well, you already have a resolution to yeah. uh, uh, apply and accept. And I think we'll take Matilda's comments and uh, finance committee to heart because we debated the same question you did. And so it, it isn't, but right now we were fortunate to get through the maze and uh, we'll see now that we're into the maze, what we do and what we want to do with it. But it, it, it is for <coughs> loans from the government, uh, pretty generous. It is. And, um, so even if you don't accept it, you still can keep the $10,000. Yeah, that's what I understand. So, you know, I, I assume, I mean, what happened at case with is that we got the $2,000. We never got any paperwork, but we got some emails, but we got the $2,000. And so we still have to decide if we're going to accept it or not. Uh, I think there is a time limit on accepting it. Isn't that correct? 30 days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, one point that Keith made was that it, it, the interest is very low. And since we don't know what might happen, we just really can't tell. Every day the COVID thing changes. It, it seems that we have more and more cases. We could be, once again, um, slowed down or shut down. And <clears throat> this is a very inexpensive insurance policy to make sure we have enough operating to continue should that happen again. And maybe it won't, and we can just send all the money back. <laughs> or use but, it and pay very little interest. <laughs> yeah, or use it and pay very little interest. It's really small. It doesn't cost the, very much to have this loan. Yeah, it's, um, our annual interest on it is $4,125. So uh, it's really, if we're getting $10,000 bonus, it pays for the first two years. And if we put the money in a bank where we made money on the money, that would break the interest even further. Yeah, I'd bring it down a little now. But, uh, Not a lot. And, but, and I'll add, it was noted in the finance committee meeting that our operating reserves are somewhat modest, right? So this would Correct. this would uh, probably add a, a third to our operating reserves, roughly. Correct. Okay, so uh, any further comments or questions from? No, I just wanted everybody to know what was going on and I decided to write it down so there's something people could look at and think about ahead of time. Right, so I would, um, can I comment? Please. I would like to thank Joe, because he answered my phone calls every time I called him. This is a very weird application and it seemed dicey and sometimes I thought it was a scam, but it turned out to be okay. And Joe gave me the encouragement to go forward and answered my questions and made it possible. So I wouldn't have done it without him. <laughs> so it was, he was a real key to it. I was actually under a building doing something. When <laughs> came through. Okay. Well, thank you for, the, for um, your notes from the underground. I, I, you know, I was just noticing in the um, attachment on, from the National Council of Nonprofits, it does describe the $10,000 as an advance, which implies it's part of the loan. It's not a gift. Yeah, yeah I, I was not going to argue, argue about it, but I think, I think you're right there. But we haven't gotten anything at this point, so we'll see. Right. Okay. But, so, so, I mean, it's an advance, but the advance you don't have to pay back. Right. Under loan forgiveness, it says $10,000 advance forgiven, even if borrower denied EIDL loans. Got it. Okay. What we actually applied for was the advance, but then they gave us the loan. It is, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why I, I didn't many want to weird get things about that. this. <laughs> I didn't want to get into all those details because it's just, it was just a, a very circuitous process. I guess a nice way to put it. Okay, well, hopefully uh, everything will work out agreeably and um, we'll have that little bit of uh, financial insurance. Um, okay, so uh, no action is required on that item, but I will thank both Becca and uh, Joe, uh, Director Hall, um, for your work on, on that. And um, though you don't require it, we've already given your approval. Like It sounds like we give our blessing um, with some reservation from Director uh, or Vice Chair Rand. Um, to go ahead and complete that uh, paperwork so we can get those funds. Um, all right, so unless there's any further comments, um, let us move on to item number 10, which is the oral report of our executive director. Becca, please. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry. Um, just a moment. I was doing something else before the meet. All kinds of things happened right before we met. Okay, well, I'll, I'll also uh, note that um, 
that uh, Ms. Barbara Springer has joined us. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome. And it's good to see you. All right, I, I'm, I'm ready if you're ready. All right, please proceed. Okay, so um, this month uh, we're talking about May. And so uh, we, we uh, received the funds for the PPP on May 4th and they are in the bank and we are using them. And um, uh, under the co-working, under, under financial, uh, the co-working uh, center has done, uh, we adjusted our projections for it um, as soon as we closed on March 17th, I think it was, or March 18th. No, I guess it was March 19th to, um, uh, a comment to to um, anyway to account for the the s slower business that we'd be able to do because of that, and our projection was seventy five hundred dollars a month. It used to be ten thousand. Now we're at seventy five hundred, and this and in May we earned seventy nine, and um, we're on track this month to do the same thing. So we're we're holding steady, which is a good thing. Um, we did 16 regular meetings this month under paid services. We did 16 meetings for the, um, for the city governments and one special meeting. And that is, this is an uh, unusual time. So uh, this is, that was just before they started working on the budget. In June, they did a lot of budget meetings and it looks like they're, they're not going to really finish all their meetings as they usually do before July when they take a break. And so in August, they'll be doing a lot of meetings. So you'll see more meetings than regular in August. But right now for May, we did 16. Um, we did three webinars. Uh, well, we did more than three. I think we did six webinars, two for each, uh, each of the three uh, commissions that we're working with, the San Lorenzo Valley Water District, the Santa Cruz County Regional Transit Commission and the Metro Transit. They're all doing their meetings by webinar now. Under a coronavirus update, we have been working on safety measures and we have completed a number of them. We have removed and moved a lot of furniture and rearranged a lot of furniture so that all the seats are six feet apart. We have added masks required signs everywhere and um, the county, provided a very fun um, screaming hand, wash your hands signs. So we're putting those in the bathrooms as well. Um, we tested out in May, we got two plexiglass desk shields. They're sort of like clear panels that sit on top of the desk. They go up 48 inches and they have little sides. So people are safe from people walking around in front of them or talking to them. And we uh, tested out two, those two worked well. The uh, people in the co-working center in the cafe area liked them. So we ordered one for every desk and a couple additional for inside the offices because a lot of our people are, we have a number, of, we have a couple doctors and a, and a health consultant and they all interview people. And so we thought they might need that kind of protection as well. So those are just, um, uh, we just have those in the office, so if someone is going to do a face-to-face -face meeting, we can provide that protection. Safety measures in progress include um, the rest of the plexiglass shields for all the desks, and I actually have the final two in my car now, so I'll just give you a secret update. <laughs> They've arrived. And um, we've uh, identified and ordered some special UVC lights for cleaning the offices, storage rooms, the studio and control rooms. So um, there's a special protocol for using them. They, aren't, they can't be left around for people to use themselves, but um, Ian will use them to clean offices when no one's in them and to clean the studio at night uh, before, after someone uses it. And um, they will clean, we have two that will clean an entire room and some smaller ones that will clean some of our smaller spaces like the audio booth and the RSVP and that sort of thing. And we've also, uh, we identified and ordered the, some portable HEPA filters that are silent. And um, they are in the cafe area. They have both a carbon and a HEPA filter. And we've got hand sanitizers. We ordered them in May. We've actually installed them now. And we've increased our, janitor, our janitorial visits have increased um, to five times a week now. So they, 
there it's pretty it's pretty clean um the uh and that is that is our report for june we really have for may we really just did a lot of procurement and it took a while to find these things to identify them to find a place that had them in stock and to ship them everything's taking longer than than usual so but but we did it i'm going to give you a little june update because a lot happened in june that i think is is covid uh, related and you might like to know it even though it's not officially, uh, it didn't didn't happen in May, but I think you should know it now. Our co-working uh, center revenue for June was seven ninety eight on the day that I wrote this, but it is it is now seven nine something. I can't remember the exact number, but we're on target. We've passed our 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 projection, but I, I believe we'll get closer to the seven, closer to eight by the end of the month. We've rent we've rented two additional offices which is great and uh, we have had a lot of people calling us asking us if they can come to work there right now we're only working with people who we we already we work with all the time or people that want to rent something going forward from july but we're getting a lot of people calling asking if they can drop in and that sort of thing we're not doing that now because we're just not quite ready but we will start on july 1st um we have applied for the eidl and gotten the okie dokie um and let's see under safety uh we have gotten disinfectant wipes and gloves for our tech guys so when they come out they go out in the field um, we've actually installed those things in the chambers where they work so that they have gloves and um, disinfectant wipes for not only the, their hands but the equipment and uh, we've asked for an we we have been able to get the merv 13 filters that's the highest um the highest or the smallest filter system we can get for our air conditioning that can still push the air through the air conditioning but MERV 13 is pretty high it 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 meets the 0.3 micron micron uh requirement that's how big the covid virus is and we are also going to put if we can we're waiting for a quote on putting hvc lights in the hvac system hvc is a form of ultraviolet light that will kill viruses and it will kill the covid virus so as the air goes through the system, it would be killing the germs as it passes through our AC system. So um, we're still working on it. It's, um, I guess everyone wants it. So the, our, HV, our HVAC guy is having a hard time getting a hold of it. Um, we've got our, our desk shields are installed, the hand sanitizers. Let's see. Um, we did get, I wanted to, I had talked about at one point of replacing all the toilets or adding a kit to the toilets that would make them touchless flush, but they don't make those kits anymore. And actually replacing the toilets would cost way too much money, more than we would ever want to do. So um, we didn't, I'm not doing that, but we are going to replace the faucets with um, what they call metered faucets. So you touch them once and they they come on for 20 seconds so you don't have to sing a song you know exactly how long to wash your hands and then um they go off so you don't you have to touch them once but you once your hands are clean you don't have to touch them again and we have hand blowers already so you can dry your hands under the hot air and and leave the room um we are still under under um ctd safety we are still, I'm still having everybody work from home as much as possible. I still think that's safe. They've been doing a good job. I don't think we've suffered any kind of productivity by having people work at home. So I'm going to continue with that. Um, let's see, we have hand sanitizers in the control rooms now. We are, um, we have placed all our social distancing uh, messaging in the back hallways and near the restrooms. There's a path of travel marked through the building. So people go only one direction and, um, uh, I think that's it. So that's where we are. I just wanted to give you that extra safety thing because I don't think you need to, you don't want to wait till July to find out what we're doing. So that's where we are on safety. And that's my report for May. Great, Becca. Thank you so much. Um, do any board members have any questions regarding that report? Director Hall? Um, are, are, how are you going to let people know you're open? Are you going to send out an email blast or just, I'm just kind of curious what the steps will be next. Yeah. Yeah, we will. We want to make a little video and probably be an animated thing of um, all the things that we've done to make it safe. 
And so we'll, we'll be doing something. We'll start working on that now and then we'll send it out. We have a way to, uh, we can email everybody who is a member instantly. So we'll do that. But we also have a web page and a blog. So we'll get the word out uh, that way as well. And any customer that's ever come in, we'll communicate with them as well. So we'll, and we'll probably, we're going to, I'm working on, um, I'm meeting the graphic artist sort of um, by Zoom <laughs> tomorrow night to finish up the sign specs. Cause we had a really hard time getting the size of where the sign would go. Cause it's up so high, we can't reach it. And we've hired a couple of people to do it. And finally, we got somebody who could actually do it, although they did have to go away and get a bigger ladder. But we got the dimensions now, and that's all the artists needed. So we should be able to have new signage up. And I think that will draw. Now our building is great, bright green. <laughs> we cannot miss our building anymore. And with the big sign, I think that will help as well. And we'll put something on our channels too. And, and one other question. Uh, what about the volunteers? Are, are we going to reach out to them in terms of, uh, uh, maybe it's under your report, Matilda, so if I'm jumping ahead. Keith is a uh, director, or is a HVAC, or HVAC, the, the VAC uh, chair now. <laughs> They're actually, we're inviting them back on the 15th of July. I don't, I really want to make sure we have all the lights in house, but the big lights we'd use to do the studio. And they won't be in until, they won't be shipped until July 7th. So okay. I don't want to invite them back until I can truly provide them a safe environment. And okay. so as soon as, once we have that in place, they can come back. And when you say the big lights, you mean the big disinfecting lights? Yeah, big UVC lights. And they're, they're big. And they will do the whole room. But um, until then, I don't really feel that like we want to have I just feel like we don't want to invite people into a place that may not be perfectly clean. Okay. I just was curious where we were there. I, I had the same question, Director Hall. And, and, and in terms of uh, legality, in terms of the stages of the governor's orders, you know, uh, we are legal to... Yeah, uh, they're allowed in production now. So, okay. yeah, we are. But we are, we, we're being extra careful. We really... We're discouraging it, but I think people want to come back anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're, and, and you'll hear from Keith, and Keith, they've really made a lot of rules for themselves to be safe. Excellent. Uh, Director Mannheim. Just a question of, you know, you've mentioned that a number of people are um, expressing interest. Have you thought at all about the limits of how many individuals could circulate? I mean, if, if, if people start coming in to use the open spaces, limiting the number of people who can come through and what that would be? Yeah, I took out 15 chairs. <laughs> so there's only, only a safe number can be in there. You can't be in there. I mean, you'll run out of furniture at some point. So that's how we're limiting it. And all the furniture is six feet apart and there's only desks. There's not, there's not those communal tables. And we even took out all the, we have one, 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 chair on the side of the room with the table because we can get it far enough away from people but the rest of the furniture we took out one of the couches in the lobby too so only one person can sit there so we've removed we moved we removed seating that we don't want people to hold and so now yeah many less many fewer people can come in at a time anything else dr manheim no uh, did i see your hand up uh, vice chair rand Oh, you're, you're muted. You're muted, Matilda. I'm waiting for Keith's report. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw your hand. But maybe you were just adjusting your glasses. Um, great. Any other I'm further questions or comments from the board on our oral report of our uh, executive director? Um, seeing none, let's move on to item 11, which is the oral report of the Volunteer Advisory Committee Chair. Great. So we met by Google Meet and the, Purdue, the members of the back committee were really thrilled to get together. We've been missing each other, so it was quite fun. And we came up with a list of things which we've run by Becca and I'll just mention a few of them. She mentioned the UVC light. We have one other requirement. We're only going to allow one program on a weekend because we don't have staff to come in and use the light in between shows during, on the weekend. So for instance, if there's a Friday night show, there can't be a Sunday show or vice versa. 
Uh, everything else you pretty much know about. We're only going to have one guest and no audience allowed. If it's a music show, only one to two musicians, no bands. Uh, and we've asked Becca for a thermometer. The, the studio supervisors want to take everyone's temperature as they arrive. Uh, and the studio supervisors are going to get together to make a checklist to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, we're going to re be required to clean the kitchen before and after, and any food must be on the table outside. There's no food in the facility for public access. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Anything else, Matilda? Yeah, there was one other thing. Uh, we, <clears throat> we brainstormed with uh, Becca after we met with the, the volunteers that we would have the uh, graphics computer probably inside, to, inside the uh, studio so that the graphics person and the director would not be sitting next to each other. So, and it, you know, it was a really nice conversation with, uh, with all the volunteers. They were very serious and safety oriented. They were very pleased about all the things that Becca and Keith and I have been talking about. So, you know, it was, it was a re really good community builder. I think we we're gonna make a good start again once indeed we have everything in place. All right, thank you. Uh, wonderful news. I'm glad to hear that uh, production will be ramping up again. Any questions or comments from uh, other members of the board? Okay, seeing none. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, all report of the board chair is item 12. I'm going to just say I have nothing to report. I won't even thank anybody. Just thank you all. Um, uh, so let's move right on to item 13, board member staff request for items to appear on the next meeting agenda. Um, I guess we are going to bring back the uh, check signing policy, right? Uh, anything in yeah. addition to that? Uh, hearing none. Uh, let's move on to. I would just say, I would just say, of course, we're going to talk about how it went with reopening of the studio. Um, you know, I think that's a given. Um, how, but I thought we were already how talking about safety, how all the safety measures are working out. I think, you know, a report, but you know, both in Becca's and Keith's report, I'm sure they will show up. But I, th I think board members will want to hear about how things have been developed oh right reopening okay so a report on reopening of for uh, of community tv for volunteers yeah i'd be and happy to add that yes joe was that joe well for both parties the co-working and the volunteers okay they're all in the same building sure right. all right i'm happy to add that uh, anything else board members or staff would like to see on the next agenda. All right, seeing none, we can move on to our closed session. Um, besides our invited guest, I don't see any members of the public here. Do we want to stop the recording here to go off record? I Don't we need to make an adjournment to make a motion yeah. to adjourn to the closed session? Right, so just, uh, just uh, as a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Procedural. Procedural question, yeah. Do we want to stop the recording um, when we go into closed session? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'll entertain a motion to uh, adjourn motion. the closed session. We have a motion um, from Vice Chair Rand. Rand. To, the, to the closed session. Second. Okay. We have a motion from Vice Chair Rand, a second from Director Mannheim. Uh, do we need to call the roll? I guess we need to call the roll. You're muted, Larry. Director Aaron. O'Driscoll. Yes. Director Lanier. Yes. Chair Mazier. Yes. Director Manheim. Yes. Director Gudger. Yes. Director Rand. Yes. Director Hall. Yes. All right. So we are now in closed session. Uh, any members of the public who are here who weren't invited, scram. <laughs> and. Um, Becca, can you you always, just so you know, Becca, if you do closed sessions, we always do separate meetings for closed session for this exact purpose, in case that way you can have a, a, a secondary meeting invite where the public doesn't have it. All right. Ah, good idea. Yeah, I could also, I could send us into a breakout room. 
where nobody can go but us. But I don't, I don't think, I mean, we would see if somebody else was in there. We have 10 people here. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> we would yeah, know. We don't have any other people. So should we so, just stop the recording? Can you stop the recording? Know. Can you start it again later or will it override okay, I the... I can pause it and we can... Quick question. Up. Is there any way to know if somebody has called in on the phone number? Yeah, I would see them. Okay. Yeah, they would, there would be a big telephone thing over here. So if there was anybody on here that shouldn't be, I can see everybody who's here. And yeah, it's just us. So I see the recording light is now blinking. Does that mean it's paused? No, it is on. You, I'm, I just am waiting for you to tell me to pause oh, it. Oh, oh, please pause the recording. There we go. We're recording. Okay. Welcome. We are back. The, uh, the board of community television is back from its closed session. Um, would you like Keith to report out what we discussed? Uh, we didn't take any action, so there's nothing to report out other than we discussed the item on the agenda. Okay. Anything else? Are there any announcements? Then I'll make a motion to adjourn this meeting. I'll second. Okay. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Don't need a roll call for adjournment. No, we don't. No. Need Unanimous. Have a good <laughs> dinner, have a good evening, Thank you. and good meetings, and we'll see each other again next Monday. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. Thursday.